Hello, Leo. Welcome to <laughs> Truth Well Tell Tarot. <laughs> this is Andrea, uh, and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading. Come on, baby girl. <laughs> okay, the cat's decided that she wants some FaceTime with you. <laughs> and obviously, for Leo, it's perfect. So, um, yeah, what, what was I saying? But we've, I've got the weekly tarot reading here for Leo, 15th to the 21st of March 2021, for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, let's get straight into your reading, Leo, and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Leo, please? Angel, spirits, guides. Okay, so we have Moose, authority. You know what is best for you. Very nice energy. Okay. Message for Leo, please. Angel, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Leos. 15th to the 21st of March, 2021. For the sign of Leo message for Leo we have oh nice nice new beginnings something new begins today embrace the possibilities and it might well be you know what is best for you it could be linked with you taking action towards a new beginning um, it's interesting that embrace the possibilities it feels there's real possibility around you so you might be making your mind up about something let's see what else we get so I'm going to pull three cards. The first card, as you all know by now, is the issue or challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is your outcome, future outcome. Then we clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, Leo. So message for our lovely Leos, thank you. Message for Leo. Oh, we have the star in the challenge position. Star is a card of Aquarius. The Emperor card of Aries. It's in your advice from spirit. And wow, three major arcana, Leo. The Chariot card of Cancer in your outcome. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Leo. Message for Leo, thank you. What do we have for Leo? Thank you. Can we clarify these cards? Angel Spirits Guides. 15th to the 21st of March 2021. That card flew out. So we have the Nine of Swords, Leo. I like the Nine of Swords in the challenge position. There's an energy of releasing from that. The Emperor. Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Chariot, the Page of Swords. Oh my goodness, Eight of Wands. Very nice energy and fire energy as well. There is a feeling here, Leo, that you have gone through some stress, anxiety, worry. Yeah. Now, you know, that could be in whichever area resonates for you. Um, but the Nine of Swords is an energy of, of, it's a nine with a ten being a completion. And there's definitely an energy of you have the opportunity to release from this now. Something is nearly over. Um, nine of Swords can be about releasing from the worry. Something coming in that is allowing you to release from the worry. So definitely an energy of don't lose faith, don't lose hope, because you are being given blessings, guidance from the universe. This can be new hope that's coming your way in whatever form. I mean, this can be a card of a sense of renewal of self. This can be a card of finding the path that you need to be on, a card of blessings from the universe, a real card of optimism. So whatever has caused you stress, anxiety, worry, the message is, yeah, you see, I'm definitely getting these energies as well of 
of you know the nine of swords is when we allow the negativity to to influence us to the point of controlling us dictating how we feel dictating how we perceive and it's a distorted view of reality that we get with the nine of swords because it's how the mind keeps us in that negative state and we don't see things clearly we see things magnified sometimes worse than they are even though there's a reason for you to feel this way this is based in fact um yeah i definitely get there's energy of there will be an opportunity to liberate from this an opportunity to take control of something that may have controlled you certainly your mental energy your internal energy for a period of time this can be the card of the insomniac sleepless nights worry anxiety stress yeah but there's there's definitely the sign of hope and an opportunity to release i mean this is a liberation energy as well And it's interesting that we talk about taking authority because the emperor is all about authority. Now, this can be somebody in authority or this can be you taking authority, Leo. Uh, the energy of what the emperor represents. You know what is best for you. I feel this is you in some way uh, because the emperor is the great initiator no the world does not control me i control my world you know the external environment does not act on me and shape my life i shape my reality i make it happen i bring success i'm the empire builder you know that is the emperor energy so it feels for some of you that you have an opportunity to take control of something yeah something that has controlled you for a period of time you know and and the emperor is you know the top of the game so the emperor if you're dealing with an emperor this is somebody who's head of a company uh can be an entrepreneurial energy can be you know um an initiator somebody who's driven somebody who is not defeatist in the slightest he is uh, absolutely somebody who understands how to see what he wants go for it he's a visionary as a strategist so you might be adopting those energies leo in in order to bring in some level of success your way i mean the nine of pentacles is a card of it is a card of self-worth self-esteem Now, it's also a card of material success, abundance. I'm feeling pretty good about it. It's almost kind of like the universe is telling you, if you only step into your power and realize that when you're in your power, you can be the empire builder in, in whatever proportion this means to you. You have a power, the power to bring the success to take control to take authority to take charge to take the initiative to be back on your throne and bring in the nine of pentacles the success the nine of pentacles is money material success um very good in terms of money career finances abundance but it's somebody who's worked hard put their energy uh focus patience uh, practical skills knowledge towards making this happen and this is the reward the feel-good energy it's almost kind of like that darkness before the the dawn energy you know it, it definitely feels for some of you the the way the mind is is affecting you is stopping you from your divine wish fulfillment is stopping you from receiving these blessings um there's definitely an energy of you're being watched over here leo fulfill your potential now this is also about you know this is what i deserve the nine of pentacles can also be a card of independence for certainly in terms of relationships it can be somebody who is independent somebody who stands in their own success their own self-worth so if something has stressed you out in other areas of life friendships family relationships 
this is an energy of no I am taking control and I am standing up for what I deserve this is self-esteem self-worth I deserve more you know it's that kind of energy yeah The Chariot Leo is a card of victory success. Eyes on the prize and taking the reins. Taking the reins, getting in the driving seat and charging ahead towards a goal. And there is victory and success. It almost feels like there's something here that you're grappling with that you need to take control of because this wonderful new beginning is coming your way. And I definitely get the energy here, Leo, of recognize your own power, your own capability here to, to bring it in. Because the Page of Swords can be about learning something, hearing something, um, can be a communication message, you know, Swords messages, communication, getting some clarity. Um, can be about learning hearing something and we have it the pages are the beginnings of something new the beginnings of change so it definitely feels for some of you i mean you're ready to take the reins of your life and charge ahead take control of whatever obstacle whatever is stressing you out and just say right i am not being like this anymore i am absolutely gonna be in the driving seat of my own life and restore my own power be the empire builder this week uh, because for some of you, there's change, there's a big shift, and it's a swift shift. The Eight of Wands can be communication, conversations, that can bring a swift shift. This swift shift, I'll try and say that, that's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, but it's growth, it's exciting. I mean, this can be linked with opportunity, this can be online opportunity, there can be distance to do with distance conversations, messages, um, can also be to do with um, I'm taking action and you know I am absolutely bringing change into my life but it definitely feels, generally I see this as some kind of conversation, um, communication, um, message information coming your way that brings real change and it's exciting change and it's out of the blue change. Yeah, and it's growth. This is a, the kind of adventure energy. I'm ready for new adventures. You know, I'm ready to take action and just open myself up to what's out there. So this is very good in terms of money, career, finances, if you're networking or connecting to people. Um, you know, job opportunities, business opportunities, you know, that client opportunities, call it what you will. You know, this is, you know, conversations are happening and the change is coming. The shift is here. Um, so definitely for some of you, I mean, this feels very good in terms of money, career, finances, but can also link with independence as well um, and feeling self-worth, self-esteem. Either way, there's definitely an energy of getting what you deserve, knowing your worth, fulfilling your potential and not letting something control you, but you taking control of something. And when you do, everything changes. Everything changes, change, the shift. Yeah, I'm going to pull you one more card, Leo. Any other message for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides for this reading. Thank you. Hmm. We have the lovers here. So this can be in terms of love, romance, relationships, Leo. You know, the uh, Six of Pentacles and the Death card. Yeah, I mean, for some of you, yeah, I'm definitely getting this energy, Leo, of It feels in this situation, the lovers, I mean, it can represent a relationship, you and, and somebody else. 
there is an energy here with the nine of pentacles and the, the six of pentacles is essentially not having enough it feels like breadcrumb energy um but it's over it's going to be over you are the phoenix rising this week wow you are shedding an old skin you are embracing your own metamorphosis and there's transformation deep transformation and it feels in this situation leo that it, it feels the lovers can be a decision it can be decisions or choices that you take in love but it can be within the relationship so again i mean yes there can be independent energies here maybe some independence from a relationship but what i'm feeling as well is because i've pulled these two cards out together the end of asking for financial help the the end of asking for uh you know financial support charity you know all this kind of thing not having enough and it feels to do with money career finances there is a turnaround and it's by your own actions something is happening here it feels like something's going to happen um and it feels like you're just going to go for it and there's a new level of success coming your way you know i'm definitely getting in this energy here there's definitely some kind of material benefit here leo the end of not having enough because the nine of pentacles is a card of abundance luxury so it feels in this energy yeah look you know the world card worldly success goal achievement and again being ready to step through to a new phase of your life as well so it feels like the period of there's definitely an energy of breadcrumbs so not having enough yes that can be in a relationship that can also be in terms of money career finances take what resonates for you the message either way is you know what to do and remember the world card is very good in terms of material success worldly success a uh, goal achievement victory it's a victory energy yeah powerful powerful energy leo okay final message for leo please final message for leo yeah we have purity always trust the purity of your heart look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer to your question and that could be to do with this you know what is best for you leo we have new beginnings uh, stepping through to a new phase of your life i mean the cards are all in sync it definitely feels this energy of, of breadcrumb in whatever context is over and you are the phoenix rising this week and i love the energy because this is about you rising in your true colors once more shining in your colors once more um and releasing the old and it feels like releasing whatever the challenge has been so powerful powerful energy i hope you enjoyed the reading leo if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you all and i will see you next time thank you